to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little room tour for you guys. I actually got the idea to do a whole series based on room tours since I'm in college and I move a lot. I've moved uh, twice in the past year and including my home, like in my bedroom at my parents' house, I've actually had three different bedrooms over the past year. I really love decorating them. I'm kind of over the top with my style and I thought it would be really fun to show you guys how I like to take any space and kind of make it feel like home for me and kind of show you guys how you can do some similar things especially if you're in college and you kind of feel homesick or you don't really know what to do to make your space feel your own I kind of want to just go through and I'm going to show you guys everything that I like to do to make sure that every new place that I move into feels like home. So I'm currently at a hotel in North Carolina right now. I actually just got to see my fiance for the first time after he came back from deployment and I'm so excited. I'm actually waiting for him to get back from work right now. So I thought I would work on this video and film this little intro really quick. So basically for this first video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of my last college bedroom that I had before I moved. Now, this house that I was in, I lived in with three other roommates, and it was a very, very old house. I think it was 100, 120 years old, something like that. Very old, historic home, which is kind of typical for a lot of students in my area. Um, a lot of those old houses work really well as student housing, so a lot of us do that. I found after a year of living in that house that I just, I wasn't really a fan of all the things that started to go wrong. We had a lot of issues with the house. Um, we had just cockroaches, bugs, rats, homeless man living under the house. Yes, probably we'll film a story time video on that one because that was just ridiculous. Yeah, I got tired of just having to deal with all the little things that kept going wrong and it was kind of a stressful place for me to live. It wasn't really in the safest area. And just after a year, I was just, I was ready for something different, something that felt more safe and more like my own. But even still, I loved my bedroom there in that house. And I really had a fun time transforming it. It was just this big open bedroom. It was actually a dining room. I was technically living in the dining room, which was kind of cool. Um, it had these huge pocket doors that would go into the living room from my bedroom. So what we did was, is we closed those pocket doors so that way I could have like my own little space. And it was nice um, being on the first floor, technically in the dining room because the ceilings were higher. I had a fireplace. Um, actually, I think every bedroom had a fireplace, which was really cool. It's a great place to put like a TV. So that worked out very well. Like I said, nice big bedroom, original hardwood floors, which were a, not the nicest, but it was still cool. It was a very like, different vibe living there and it was really fun to kind of transform that room again i don't live here anymore but i was really proud of what i did with this space and i'm really excited to show you guys how i made this place my own what'll be cool is when i do my one of my next room tours either i'm gonna do my bedroom back home in my parents house or i'm gonna do my new place you'll kind of see the corresponding like different decorations from place to place and how I've kind of utilized the same items differently in multiple different places, which is kind of fun. You're gonna get a whole three series room tour on how to make any place feel like home. <laughs> Cause I feel like, you know, this is my senior year of college and I've moved every single year. And at this point, I think I've gotten pretty good at really nailing the room decorating as far as like with like a college bedroom, so. Yeah, I'm super excited and let's get into this video. All right guys, hey, so here we are going into my room. Now this is my old bedroom, but I still wanna show you guys everything just because I was really proud of the way that I decorated this space and I really did love it. And I kind of want you guys to see how I've used these decorations in my new place. Starting off with the bed, this is actually a really cool like blue velvet comforter that I got from Target that I love. I've got just some fun little throw pillows on there, one of those chair pillows that's great for sitting, and I always hang lights above my bed wherever I am. 
Here to the right, we have one of my nightstands, the cute little coaster from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And to the right of that, I have this fun little cardboard bin that's like coated with this really cute Paris pattern. Um, and I like to put my workout clothes in there, and I also use that as a guitar stand frequently. Also in this corner, I have just a bunch of cool posters that I've collected over the years from different like bands and concerts that I've been to. On either side of my door, I have these hanging shoe racks, which are awesome if you've got a lot of shoes like I do. And then to the right of that, we have my fireplace, which this was actually a really old house we lived in. So these fireplaces that were in each bedroom were original, and it was really fun to decorate them and kind of put cute little candles and different things up on the mantle. Also, it was a great space to put my TV. I also have this fun strand of lights that holds my Polaroid that I also hung on the fireplace, and I think it looked really cute here. Moving over to the right, I have a fun little neon sign and also this cool sign that my mom got me that's very, like, witchy and fun. Totally love that. I have, like, just a little mirror here, and then I propped it up on some cardboard boxes that I covered in wrapping paper to make them look cool. And then over to the right of that, I have a really cool little white chest that I've used to put shoes on and also a clothing rack in the corner. Here you can see that section a little bit better. Also on the walls, if you've noticed, I do have some black curtains that I hung just to kind of help take up some wall space. The walls are kind of a really not so nice taupey color. I didn't really like them. I also hung up things like my hats up there too just to help take up wall space as well as posters. And then here's just a little view of my clothing rack. These are actually just my hoodies. The rest of my clothes are in a separate smaller room that we used as a universal closet. And then here you can see that white chest again, which is really cool. I've had this since my freshman year, and I love using it as storage. And also just, to, yeah, I can put things on top of it, use it as a coffee table, whatever. It's awesome. And then over here you can see the bottom of the clothing rack has like a little basket portion that I also use the top of it as like a shelf, again, for more shoes. Some of my favorites are over here. And I didn't keep any of my shoes in my other closet. I kept all my shoes in my bedroom, so I had to come up with, like, clever little places to put them. And then here you can see these are the baskets at the bottom of the clothing rack. I would use these to put purses in for the most part. Over here you can see just a fun little sitting area that I had in between my windows. I have this really cool beanbag chair that I got at Walmart and I love it. And then I have, this is actually a bed canopy that I ended up hanging on the wall because it fell down. Also in this area I have my little perfume caddy and I have some fun lights back here I'm going to turn on so you guys can see. My mom got me this crazy cool little spider light thing and it just I used it to light up the perfume bottles because I thought it was fun. I also have my guitar amp over here that I just kind of had chilling on the floor out of the way in case I ever wanted to use it. And then here's another little view of my perfume caddy. And, oh hey, there's me. <laughs> and I actually love this little caddy. It's kind of like a drawer thing. I don't know. I use it to put all kinds of stuff in, like sunglasses and things. It's really nice. Back here I have a black tapestry that I actually made with chalkboard paints and metallic markers and I've hung this in every single room I've had ever since freshman year. Now moving over to the right of my little seating area I have my dresser and on top of that I have my jewelry box and also a little salt lamp that I love. On the walls I have these really fun little jewelry hangers that are super cute that I use to display like my necklaces. And then I have just some other various jewelry trays and little candles and whatnot also sitting up there. This is actually a really cute candle holder that I got in Germany. And when you light the flame, it actually spins, which is really cool. And then I have some crystals down here, more jewelry storage. And then up here is my favorite poster of Audrey Hepburn tattooing Marilyn Monroe. The dresser is cool because it has two baskets up top and then down below it has these doors that open to these shelves which I use for more additional shoe storage. I put like my boots in here. And then moving over next to that we have my nightstand which is honestly just a little like three cubby shelf that I got from Target that I've used for various different purposes in every room I've had since freshman year. 
And then here we are back around at the beginning with my bed again. And then I have this fun tapestry that I got on Amazon that I've had ever since freshman year as well. Now, just so you guys can see, I'm going to open the door and show you the other side of my door, which has another one of these shoe racks. It's really awesome because I have a lot of shoes and I absolutely love these and I've used them for years. <laughs> Now, you guys can see it's kind of um, very over the top. At the time, that was really my thing. I've kind of learned to pare it down a little bit, but you know, I had a bunch of stuff and this room was like, like now I have a whole entire apartment to space out all of my stuff in. And at the time I just had this one bedroom in this house. So it does kind of have a bit of an over the top feel. I tried really hard not to make it feel cluttered by being highly organized the entire time I was there. I really tried to utilize the space um, to my best ability as far as with storage. I have a lot of storage that I actually created considering that there was no closet in the bedroom. The closet was actually, well, we had like a, a joint closet. It was technically a little small bedroom that was upstairs and we all just kind of got clothing racks and turned that into our main closet, which did work out. Unfortunately for me, I was on the first floor, so anytime I wanted to go to my closet, I had to go upstairs, which it wasn't that big of a deal, but I really kind of missed having that closet in my room. What I did to kind of still make it feel like I sort of had a closet space was use the clothing racks and I kept all my shoes down there, all my purses and everything, accessories and stuff like that. So I would typically go upstairs to get dressed and then come back downstairs and then I could pick out all my shoes and accessories and everything. It worked out great um, for the time being and now I'm excited to show you my new place and how I've kind of set up everything there. It's again, I've had to use like the shoe racks, which you'll see on the front and back of the doors, as well as um, all of the clothing racks I did use in my new apartment. And I'll show you guys what I did with those. This room was really fun. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge to figure everything out, like where to put stuff, but I think it turned out great. And I really loved this space while I was there. And it was really optimized as far as storage, for sure. And that's the end of this first video in the series, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to show you the next one. Um, I think I'm going to do my bedroom at my parents' house, which is a totally different side of me. I feel like in this bedroom, you saw the very, like, over-the-top, like, really dramatic side of me. And in the next bedroom, you're going to see more of the kind of elegant, girly, fun side of me. I'm super excited about this series. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link down below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.